So this is the Titan Aero uh, extruder, and it's optimized both for regular 3D printing, meaning just regular filaments and flexible filaments like rubber. Now the trick to rubber is that when you push it, it kinks up. So you want to have the distance as constrained as as small as possible. Distance between the drive gear and where it's actually coming out of the nozzle or actually to the melt place where it melts. Because once it's melted, it's a liquid and liquids are incompressible. So when you have the filament going in there, it pushes it out or it sucks it back in. Incompressibility of fluids. So this is excellent. It's very simple. It's got a, an integrated heat block. The heat block is actually over like the extruder, the heat, sorry, the, what do you call it, the heat sink. Heat sink is this, this part here under the fan. So it's right over the, the drive gear, which makes it a very short distance. So this is nice. I mean, it's, we can get this whole thing. Um, you can buy it assembled or disassembled. To assemble it, I think it's probably going to be easier than what we did yesterday. Uh, but I do like this, and if you get the authentic version, it's like a hundred bucks. But the authentic version of the E3D, the one we're using, is sixty for the heatsink part and all that. But plus, you've got all the 3D printed parts and all those parts in there. So, I mean, in actuality, they come up to pretty similar in price if you're using the authentic ones. Um, so, but I do like this one, and, and maybe with this one, we you know we just buy the whole thing and done and no work all we got to do then is the, the, the wiring and all that and then the, all we need to do here is design a different mount plate so that uh, the mount plate is not really well designed for this we have we can use this the older style one but the thing about that one is that it sticks too far out that way so if you're going really fast I mean you know this thing is kind of heavy so it can it can start wobbling so what you want to do is have the mount to the to the axis as close, just as close to the center of gravity is as close as possible so you're not like, it's not like out there wobbling, it's like right close on the axis and, and so forth. So this is a good choice for the future and it's also open source design. This one has the, the volcano heater block. It can also take the smaller, uh, smaller heater block, but the short distance means it's optimized for, for the flexible filament printing which means that if we want to do things like tractor tires, we can do that, or rubber for other applications. Belts, if you can print like a lot of, like the pulleys that we use in a 3D printer, in theory, you can print those belts with, a, with rubber filament. That might be something for the future. I mean, they're very tiny, uh, but we can expand their size just a little bit and, and make our own belts too. So, so rubber is, makes much, for much more flexibility there. So, okay, that's a little extruder conversation. Okay.